Hey YouTube, hope everything's fine. I just came back from Greece. I'm right now in France. Whoa, what is going on? I did some vacations in Greece, like I mentioned in the last video, and it was not just vacations. I had the opportunity to work together with a hotel over in Creta, and I want to share that experience with you because it was really amazing. And it was a great feeling to provide some value with my photos. I want to talk about four things that I learned during that time. Oh, the little train is coming. is I have a huge variety of work you know the hotels and clients in potential they just want to make advertisement for the product or the place they are and that they want to make money with so if they want to have some photos for Instagram for example the typical Instagram images it's a little bit different than having images for their website you know when you need some photos for your website they have to be clean you should not see some some clients or some other people who are making vacations you want a clean image to represent the hotel but when you need some photos for Instagram for example it's a little bit better and a little bit na more natural when you have some people really inside in the scene acting with the potential product you want to photograph <laughs> It's a little bit sad that they have constructions going on there. So for your client you can provide them photos for their website, Instagram photos and feeling photos a little bit, like I said, a little bit more like behind the scenes and make everything a little bit, fill everything a little bit more with life because when you see all the website images they're most likely clean and a little bit of boring. It's kind of difficult to imagine yourself inside of the room. So it's on you to do the work for them. Prepare yourself and ask for some things that you can put into the room. It can be a sun hat, can be a towel, can be a luggage or an open laptop. It utilized more the feeling inside of the hotel room. The second point also very important is make sure that you have a lot of sources or a lot of platforms where you showcase your work. Facebook is potentially dead for the young people, at least that's my opinion. I don't really use Facebook, but I should, because the first thing that happened, they asked me if I have a Facebook website or if I have a website in general. They didn't ask for my Instagram. Me, personally, I'm always just on Instagram. I, like more, I am more on Instagram. I prefer that pl platform to showcase my work. Not everybody is on Instagram. Some people, especially businesses or companies, they are still on Facebook. And so Facebook is the way to go and also make sure that you have a website. Me personally, I struggle with it. So I have to make sure that I get better in that and that I make myself a proper website to showcase my work and what I'm capable of doing. So yeah, how do you want to call it? Make sure that you look good on the internet. <laughs>
Tip number three, ask the client what their pictures are for. It goes hand in hand with the first point. If the pictures are for Instagram stories or for an Instagram feed, you can already crop the image exactly like you want to have them or you even better, you frame directly the shot like you want to have it on the post. It looks way more professional and the client will be way more happy when they don't have to struggle with that afterwards. So go and ask them for what is that photo and what exactly did you do you expect? Do you want an Instagram story story post that looks more like someone is living there? Then do that and don't deliver just a boring photo for an, another boring Instagram story. something that I forgot to, to tell. The pictures of the pictures that I made in Greece will eventually be on my Instagram. Exactly like the pictures that we are that we did right now. If there is something that I like, I wanna have one picture that I'm really happy with. Should not be that much of a deal. Yesterday I took one photo that looks amazing. It was a black and white photo and because we have a lot of marriages going on here The people come here to photograph the couple because of that everybody who is walking around is Nicely dressed you have people are in in suits you have you have women's in, in, in dresses It looks really really cool together with the castle in the background and the horses in the front when everything pairs up nicely together, you can create an image that looks like you're in the 1900... I don't know what. Looks really cool, I'm really happy with that image because I felt like Marty McFly just going back, taking that picture and yeah, kind of happy with that one. And the fourth thing, the most important, be yourself and enjoy the time. So that's, that's it for today's video. That's everything I want to talk about for today. I hope you enjoyed a little bit the behind the scenes. We went a little bit around, tried to show you a little bit the castle, and the garden. And yeah, please hit the like button. And we see us next time.